magic and internet we're together and here we go. Hey, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Samrak. I'm Geneva. I'm Sarah. So today we are continuing our Trevor Noah special, African American. Yay. We are on part four. What do you guys think so far? Oh, he's great. And look. Yeah. Period. Hmm? I really like him. And I'm happy that I'm just like now entering the world of Trevor. I'm excited that I get to know about him now. Yeah. Period. Hmm. Better late than never, right? Oh, yeah. Like, everybody sure. find out stuff on their own time, of course. But you know, know what's funny is I didn't realize that he was that same dude that was the host because his hair was longer. Yeah. Oh, was, yeah. The hair threw me off. I guess. Yeah. Yeah. He has a fro now, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah it looks good. He's nominated for Emmys for a show. The Daily Show? Yes. Oh. Hmm. So are we ready for part four? Yay! Yep. So That's if good. you do like our reaction, please like, comment, subscribe, and also hit the notification bell. All right, let's do this. Good storyteller. Here we go. <laughs> uh, but that's, you know, that's, we, we see you guys. Oh, this is after the opera school. Yes. People out here have that impression. Yeah. I've learned that. So I've learned everyone has that, has that idea. I learned that in small things, you know. Like I do shows, I've been doing shows around the country, around the world, where I've been blessed. And I remember one day, I'm in, I'm in LA, and I'm doing a show, and we're sitting backstage, and this comedian comes in, to the backstage area and he's got a list of all the guys that are performing and so he looks around and he looks at the darkest guy in the corner just the <gasps> blackest guy he could find and he goes hey yo you the dude from africa oh. and the guy looks up and he's like nah man i'm from detroit <laughs> like, all right my bad my bad my bad uh i uh yo okay detroit yeah yeah you uh comp oh all right, all right okay cool la okay cool 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 and then he looks at me for a second, does a quick calculation, and he's like, uh, I, 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 I yeah, um, and then he looks and he goes, yo, where are you from, man? So I'm, I'm from South Africa. He's like, oh, 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 you the dude? <laughs> oh, damn, man, damn, I, yo, I, I didn't even know they got, yo, you the dude from Africa? Man, I didn't even know they got light-skinned niggas out there, man. <laughs> Damn, I yo, yo, that's the motherland, man. That's the, the, that's motherland. the motherland. And all of a sudden, he just started giving me this speech. He was like, man, you know, yo, man, that's, yo, man, that's where we gotta be, man. That's, you know, that's the motherland out there, man. Yeah, I got to get out there, man. I got to, yo, I got to go home, man. You heard? I got to go home. Man, you tell them, I. Right? You tell them. You tell them I'm coming home, I. Right? I was like, no, we're not waiting. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm just, I'm fascinated. I think that's come, that whole identity has come from the term African American. This is something that's fascinated me. You know, it's the very loose term African American. Because half of the time you use it for people that aren't even African. You know, you just use it as long as you're black, they go African American. But it's a, it's a, what if people aren't from Africa and they're still African American? It was people from the Caribbean, from Haiti, from Jamaica. You know, they call it, yeah, yeah, African American. The guy's like, no man, I come from Jamaica, I know from Africa. <laughs> I ain't never been there before, man. He's like, you wanna stay? African American, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> The prefix, the prefix to American has become as important as American itself. I thought it was just American, but it's not. No, 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 it's very important. You have the prefix. You know, you, you have African American, African American. You, you have others like Latin or, or Mexican American. Mm -hmm. You have, uh, you have uh, Asian American. You have, the most interesting for me was Indian American, which I learned about during Thanksgiving. Indian American. And then I was told I, I'm no longer allowed to say this said, uh, I, I now have to say Native American, <laughs> which is redundant, is it not? <laughs> because if somebody's a native of the land they're still in, should you not then just call them American? Mm -hmm. <laughs> How does that work? <laughs> That's good. It was... It was the strangest conversation to have, sitting around carving the turkey and just going, you know, going out. I don't understand. I can't say. I can't say Indian American. He's like, no, Trevor. You, you, yeah, you look. You don't want to say that. You want to say Native American. I, yeah, it's it's a better term. I go, oh, well, well, who called them? Who called them Indian American? Well, well, we did. Mm. Oh, oh, I see. And then who who changed it? Well, we did. <laughs> I see. 
And you guys feel bad, son? Yeah, yeah, much better, much better. <laughs> much better. <laughs> this is the craziest thing in the world, changing it, you know? The prefix. And I mean, I, I don't mean to offend anyone. As Americans, I hope you, you know, I see some guys looking at me like, okay, okay, move on, guy, move on. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Because that's the one thing, is because the one thing I notice is white people in America, you never got the prefix. What happened there? There's no? There's just guys, you guys got left out? Oh, that's horrible. <laughs> and it's a first. <laughs> There's nothing? You guys don't get a prefix? No? Sir, you don't, you don't want one? No, no? <laughs> Just American? No? Euro, Euro-American? No? euro no. Although, I mean, to be honest, Europeans would be like, no, no, they are not from us, please. No, no, no. No, no. <laughs> no culture, no culture. They are not European. So then I, I get Anglo, Anglo from the British. Anglo-American, is that more? No, no, you don't want Anglo. Um, I don't know, Anglo-Colonial-American, is yeah. that? <laughs> Imperial American, Imperial Death Star American. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I, I, I don't know. I, I'm still searching for the answer. My two favorites so far have been. Uh, I was in. The, I was traveling in the South, and a gentleman shouts it out. He said, "You can call us Super American." <laughs> Very well. Very well. And, and my favorite was a man in Atlanta who looked at me and he said, "Why don't you call us Honky American?" What? And I've never heard of that term. You never heard that I've term? I've never heard of the word honky, honky oh. before. Because cause isn't honky the same thing you use for the, 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 like your car? That's like, you know? And the thing that, that clowns use, honk honk, that's, that's, oh. that's honky. That's, that's the most hon honky American. That sounds like a, like a bad children's character for, for white imperialists, you know? It's like there's Barney, there's Ronald McDonald, and there's Honky. This is like, you know, <laughs> just coming out singing to all the white kids. It's Honky, it's Honky. He's going to teach you how to be white, Honky. It's Honky. Remember, kids, white is right. It's oh Honky, God. it's Honky. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's the craziest thing ever, Honky. I, and I, I really don't, please, don't, don't get offended. If, you, if you're American and you're offended, I, I really hope that I'm not offending you. Um, I, I mean this because I am scared of you. Um, <laughs> no, no, really, oh really. The world, God. you don't understand. The world is shit scared of America. Like, wh like America, because you guys, wh what, you've been fighting wars since World War II? You guys haven't stopped. Like America. <laughs> no, it's true. America's just like the most badass. America's like that really buff guy on the beach, just like not messing around, just walking around. <laughs> just like, you do not mess with America. It's like, you know, if America catches you building a sand car, it's like, what are you doing? No, no, America, it's not what it looks like. like ah! Ah! The only time people build sand castles is when they're gonna attack. Stop that! Oh. Is that a bucket? No! <laughs> You know, America's like, yeah, America's that super, because you guys have the best army in the world, and you just, ah! America's that big guy that walks down the hallway, and the rest of the country just stand on the side. Yeah. It's like, <laughs> don't, don't make eye contact, don't make eye contact, don't make eye contact, don't make eye contact. And as America walks past, like, <laughs> like, what was that? What was that? Iran! Did you fart? <laughs> no, no, America, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I, uh, yes, I fart, I fart, fart just a little bit, I fart, I'm sorry, America. <laughs> Iran, were you farting at me? No, no, America, no, I don't fart at you, I don't fart at you, I just fart, just by myself, just fart, <laughs> fart, fart, fart on the back, not to the front, to the front, I say sorry, please, America. Iran, was that a nuclear fart? No, 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 not no. nuclear fart, just beans, lots of beans fart, <laughs> beans. No nuclear America, please, please. I'm gonna come in there. No, no, don't come in America, please. Just fart, <laughs> just fart, I'm sorry. It's just, you know, it's just, we, we're afraid of you, don't understand? The whole world is afraid of, the whole world is afraid of you guys, you know? Cause you guys, you guys have been fighting and, and for a lot of good in the world as well. Don't get me wrong, you know? That's why, that's why you guys are so proud of your troops. Yeah, like the troops, right? You guys love the troops. Give it up for the troops. Yeah. Because I've learned in, in the world, in the world, in the, in the biggest democracy, you need your troops. That's why the troops are so high up in America, so respected, mm -hmm. the troops. You know, uh, they're not number one though in, in, in the rankings. I'd say uh, number one is more sports. Sports yeah. is the highest thing. Yeah. No, sports <laughs> is the biggest thing in America. Like that's just number one. Yeah. It's, uh, it would be, troops is up there though. So I, it would be, I would say the so rankings good. would be, it would be sports, the Kardashians, the president, and the troops. <laughs> that would be. Yeah, Cause you guys love the Kardashians, uh, like let's be honest, like Americans are just, I've never seen anything like it. I was like, did, uh, did Kim get home okay? Did she? Yeah, okay, go, uh, yeah, check on Obama. Okay, cool, all right, just, you know? That's, that's the ranking, but sports is just not, wow.
You guys, you guys love your sports out here. I've never seen more focus put on sports Guilty. anywhere else in the world. <laughs> Americans love their sports back to front. You analyze them, you, you worship them, you, you watch the game before the game, you watch the game, game after the game. Post game. You talk about what might happen in the game, you talk about what's happening in the game, and then you talk about what happened in the game, and what could have and might have yeah. but didn't happen in the game. It's just the Guilty. craziest thing I've seen in my life. It's all about statistics. Have you seen sports in America? Non-stop. Guys just come out there. There's no time for smiles or anything. Just come out. And ladies and gentlemen, welcome to it. It's the 2012 Miami Heat up against the OKC, this is the greatest final we've been waiting for in the NBA Finals. LeBron James leading his team out here, averaging 30 points, a uh, double-double every single game, uh, 10 points per game, uh, just in assists alone. This man is just something else, 90% from the free throw line. He's just gone in, he's statistically gotten better. His team coming in with more. Chris Bosh coming in with more assists, really doing well in the last game. Just like, wow, wow. Numbers, 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 stats, stats, stats. You guys know everything, every stat. Well, I mean, uh, he's got four out of five, and I mean, if you look at that statistic alone, it, it looks like he should be, he should be getting forward, he should be, and then, and then, and then it's just, it's just crazy, you know everything, you know everything, and then you switch over to like your business channels and your economy, and you're like, what, what what's happening in the economy this year, Bob? <laughs> well, no, nobody knows, I mean. Yeah. <laughs> nobody knows, oh yeah. Oh. <laughs> no. We thought the housing market was coming up, but it wasn't. <laughs> Well, hey, I mean, that's that's the economy. You never know, right? You never know. You never know. What about stocks? Well, I guess uh, stocks, they're up and down. <laughs> I don't really know. They're up and down. They could go anywhere. It's, um, those are stocks. We don't know. But the sports, you know? You need to flip that around. You folk get the statistics in the, in the economy. Just relax in your sports. Have fun. I, that's the sports I watch is relax, like soccer. I'm a huge fan of soccer, you know? Yeah, yeah, oh, there's some fans here. Hockey. I love soccer. It's chilled. You hear it in the commentators when a game is being played. There's no statistics at all. Aww. Game starts off, the whistle blows, and welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to this fantastic match. It's Spain playing against Germany. Oh, and what a wonderful day it is. <laughs> Look at the crowd, really excited. Oh, and the atmosphere is amazing. Wonderful weather, and the guys are just like, oh, yeah, John, you can feel it. The players yeah. look great. It's wonderful. <laughs> what do you think is going to happen today, Martin? Oh, nobody knows. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even remember the last time I saw a game this good. Americans will remember. <laughs> Americans will go back to the <laughs> finest statistic. The last time a black man scored using his That's left true. hand, jumping over a mixed race, half <laughs> Indian, was in 1967 when the OK, they're like, what? <laughs> This is madness. Oh. It is madness, yeah. It's all about action in the sports as well, you know? As much action as possible. That's all about action in America. That is so action focused, you will take the ball away from the other team if they do not give you enough action. I've never seen that in my life. That's a horrible way to bring people up. Just go to the other team, you go, hey, you guys, you take the ball and you've got 24 seconds uh, to get the ball basketball. in that net. 24 <laughs> seconds! And if you don't do it, we're gonna give the ball to the other team. You hear me? We're gonna give the ball to the other team. Yeah, we know there's a lot of black guys. You try to get past them. That's up to you. Go! 24 seconds later, bah! You guys, you try, you try. <laughs> it's all about action, you know? Because America's different. Oh. It's different from the rest of the world. Oh! oh. He is right. He is so He's right now. So He's touching great topics. <laughs> yeah. It's funny. It's good. Yeah, action, action, stats, stats, stats. I mean, I'm guilty of that. Yeah, I watch Sports Center still. I, I used to watch pre-game, like post-game. Hot yeah. ESPN. ESPN. <laughs> oh my gosh! All kinds of stuff. Yeah, he is right. Yeah. You're more laid back on the other side of the world, I guess. You know? yeah. It's funny. Like I've I've liked sports in phases. Like I had like my baseball phase mm -hmm. and then basketball. Basketball phase, but hockey's hockey. really stuck with me. Mm. Yeah, I love hockey. What do you got, Dad? Kardashian? Sports. Is Kardashian <laughs> up there? <laughs> Is Kardashian up there? I Which one would you rank more, Kardashian or sports? <laughs> no, you keep tra Kardashian. Yeah, uh, I know. I in my spare time, I you know, I watch little Kardashian. No. Just, you know, I've never just the past time. Just the past time. That's it. Not too much. I've never even seen one episode. 
No. Never, ever, never seen. It's one interesting. Two. There's a lot. Of but seasons. they're so famous is that even though you've never seen the episode, you know who you know who they are. Because oh, of Kanye. Uh, yeah. Yeezy. Yeezy. Yeah. I like that. But I've literally never. I don't know anything about them. Like actually. And I get them and the Jenner people confused. Yeah. I thought they were all related. They are. They are. They're related, but they're like by like they're like half siblings. Because Chris married Bruce. And oh, then they had two kids. I don't know. Okay. Anyway. Well, what about Trevor? Anyways. What about Trevor? <laughs> Trevor! <laughs> Trevor. Trevor's Trevor. Trevor. Trevor's great. Dude, I love yeah, him. Yeah, Trevor's good, so. Accents are good. Yeah, he's. Yeah. Solid. Yeah. Solid with the accents. No wonder we just kept, like, just spitting out the stats. We're like, whoa. Yeah. <laughs> Trevor's good. Trevor's great. Trevor's great. Yeah. Trevor's great. 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 Trevor's I don't know. Because how do you, it's a lot to remember. Yeah, it is. I mean, they probably study it for his skit, maybe. Yeah. I don't know. You know. But he is awesome. Like I said, I've seen him before in person, yeah. live. So. Uh, I hope and he comes that. here one day. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, on that note, if you do like our reaction, please make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and also hit that notification <gasps> bell. And we'll catch you in the next one. That's all for now. Bye. Kim Kardashian, Khloe Kardashian. Courtney. Courtney Kardashian. Kylie. Kylie. Kendall. So they are sisters? By marriage. And Rob. Can't forget Rob. I know their name. I don't know. (laughs)